What's up, randoms? In this video, you will learn how to win on the new Alcatraz map in COD Mobile. Before we start, it feels good to be back uploading again, and thank you for over 750 subscribers. We just celebrated 650 two weeks ago in this shorts video. Make sure to check it out after this video. Here's comment of the day because one good deed a day will make the world a better place. So please take the time to smash the like, subscribe button, tap that bell icon to turn on all notifications so you don't miss any new video random entertainment gaming releases. Let's get random. Without further ado, I'm going to teach you how to win on Alcatraz map in Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, let's go. There are four orange high tiers and landing at an outside high tier will be your best bet to get good loot. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover. And once you loot up, you want to always make sure once you get an adrenaline shot to use it because that will give you 150 HP. Because the best thing that you want to do is loot up and then go and attack. That way it's, you won't be bringing a knife to a gunfight or a bat or an axe. <laughs> Stick with it with your teammates. That way y'all can protect each other. Move the tango down. So after you knock one down, you you know, always think in your head if there's one, there's two. And if you're playing squads, if there's one, there's, there's probably three. So if you keep that in mind, you knock them down and you go back and get the kill. You see, I'm the one that's going to be the bigger man in retreat, and I'm going to just stand here and reflect and plot my revenge. Me. You have five chances to come back. If you notice, see, now I have four chances. So you can go back and get revenge. If you hurt them, there's good revenge and bad revenge. Good revenge is, you know, if you hurt them real bad, you can land back real quick and uh, and then take them out. Mm, spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. You gonna learn today. If the enemy is keeping an eye out for you, knowing that you probably come back, that would be bad revenge. Because you wanna look up in the sky and see if someone's coming right back after you. After you, after you get a kill, if you're out in the open. And the thing is, you just want to stay outside the map. Uh, you know, move in whenever you need to when the blue circle comes, and then work your way in as a team. If you do it as a team, you will you will win Alcatraz every time. And you have a higher chance of getting more kills. <laughs> And always use your operator skills when needed. They come in handy. So that's why. You right there, mate. <laughs> All right, I've got her in my sights now. Wait for it, wait for it, wait. You see, I'm the one that's gonna be the bigger man in retreat, and I'm gonna just stand here and reflect and plot my revenge. Me. When you're low on health, get in the bushes so you can hide yourself. It's harder for the enemy to see you unless they see you go in there. I wanna. It's harder to go in the bush to heal yourself after you done kill an enemy if you're out in the open because they don't know where you're at. So just be aware. Just look up in the sky and see if you see them coming down or not. So I like staying on the edge of the map and then work my way in. Major instability detected. And the enemies will just keep popping up. Be reloading. See, they just fly around everywhere. As a team and move in. There's four of us and then one of them. And use a hacker. Hacker helps you tell how many people is around and and stuff like that. And then knocks out their radar and everything else. Can't jam their uh, operator skills. Hacker comes in handy. It takes a while, but it's worth it. Especially if you got a team. Come together. 
watch another video right now. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed.